And then we're hearing from at Anthony Anta, who wants to know who were some of your inspirations? Oh, well, basically, uh, I think most of you know, I was listening to Muddy Waters, Chuck Berry, T-Bone Walker, and at the same time, I was listening to uh, to Elvis, um, the Eddie Cochran, Buddy Holly, because that was my generation, you know, I mean, rock and roll was just emerging. And it really wasn't that different from jump blues as far as the musician's concerned. So then I wanted to know where that music came from. So I followed it to Muddy Waters and then to Robert Johnson and, uh, you know, I always wanted to know where music came from, if I liked a piece, so, you know, I would like track it down. <laughs> yeah. And so much of it was from America. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it'd be, be all American music. Uh, it's the greatest thing America's given the world. And um, no, quite, what's ironic is that a bunch of Englishmen come and play it back to you, and uh, suddenly the blues got revitalized again, which, uh, which was great. That was our, uh, when we started, our whole thing was to play the rhythm and blues, and uh, to turn America back onto its own music, because, uh, yeah. and not let alone play with some of the greats. I mean, Muddy Waters is an actual friend of mine, you know. I mean, that's kind of stuff out of fairy books. I mean, yeah. Exactly.